Hi, welcome to another Instructable. In this Instructable, we are going to talk about how to remove the electronic ballast to drive another fluorescent tube. Like this one, that is 17 watts, and it's obviously connected to our electronic ballast, then the AC mine. To do this project, we are going to use some tools like a screwdriver, cutting players, soldering, a soldering iron, and some wires. And also, you can obtain some connectors for the fluorescent tube, but in my case, I'm going to solder the wire directly into the terminals. The compact fluorescent lamps are in two parts the light bulb, as we can see with the connections, and the ballast that we are going to obtain. Remember to be very careful and not break the glass of the lamp because the mercury can escape and it's so dangerous. And also we are going to work with the AC mains so be careful. To open the lamp you could use, use a screwdriver and pry it out like here. And here we can see the two parts we are going to cut these connections and here it is in the circuit in the circuit board there are some capacitors so discharge them before doing something in the board then you must have to cut the wires the AC mains comes and you can here have the ballast and remember discharging the capacitors to work with the ballast. These two wires are the AC mains and these four are the connections for the fluorescent tube. We are going to remove them so hit your soldering iron. Then you are going to desolder these connections to wire to solder the wires. Once you have desoldered the connections you could measure the wire according to the tube and prepare the connections here it is how it must be in my case here it is the wires home I'm going to connect them so I start by wiring these connections to the tube here it is how it has been soldered as you can see Mm, and there it is. So the next step is to solder the wires. In my case, I'm going to solder them directly into the terminals of the fluorescent tube. But you could also buy some connector like this one. At the end, I have thrown the idea of soldering. So I have done the connections in this form. And there is the other connections. So let's try and to plug it in in the AC mains. We are going to use this connector and we are going to put the wires in like this. And we are going to plug it in in the mains. So to end with this project, we are going to plug it in. Just connect. And here we can see how it is working. We can turn off the lights. And we can see how it is working. There are the connections. Let me turn on the lights to see better. Here it is the connections. Mm -hmm. And obviously they say means. So if I turn or disconnect this off, we just can see that it turns totally off. So here it is the project. So I expect you like this instructable and also there is information right. So thanks for watching.